let's look at this question here. Why use pre-inoculated and coated seed? Another way to look at that question in a more simple way is, isn't it better just to inoculate myself? Well, we, there are three different ways you can do this. You can do it yourself. Uh, there are three different ways, though, and as I think I'm going to try to convince you here that the efficiency increases as you move from the first one to the second one to the third one. So the first one was, isn't it better to inoculate myself? Yes, you can inoculate yourself. That's the first one. But we had a lot of poor results when we did that, and still today we do. If when farmers try to inoculate themselves, again, they, uh, they have a lot of poor results. So why do they have poor results? One is that sometimes they just get the wrong rhizobium. It, it actually requires the farmer or the operator, the farm operator, to go out and purchase the rhizobium separate from his seed. So he has to buy the seed, he has to buy the rhizobium, and then he has to have a way to mix it all together and stick it on the seed. So he could get the wrong rhizobium. He, he might have just gotten the wrong uh, about soybean rhizobium he's trying to inoculate out out. Or he might have dead rhizobium. I mean, probably the, the company is probably making sure that that rhizobium is viable when they ship it. But sometimes those farmers or the, whoever they're buying it from at their local seed co-op or whatever, they might have had this left over from last year. I guarantee if the farmer had it, he probably had it left over from last year. That rhizobium could have died off in that storage process, especially if they didn't store it properly. But even if they stored it properly, it still only has, it's like fruit is in, in your pantry. It'll have a short shelf life. So it could be dead. The last thing is, again, even more important, it's complicated. Again, you've got to buy the seed, the inoculum, the sticker. You've got to buy it all separately. You've got to get you a big tub. You've got to mix or, or some type of a mixer of some type, and you have to mix it all together. Then you have to put it in the, in the seed hopper. Wouldn't it be better just to buy a bag and pour it in the seed hopper? So as we move to the second way to do it because of these problems, the second one was just pre-inoculation. So the seed companies said, Let's, let us do the inoculation for you. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll get good strains. We'll make sure get the, we, we can at least overcome the, the problem of the wrong strains. <laughs> we can make sure that, that when we do an alfalfa seed bag, it actually has alfalfa rhizobium. But there were, and that did help. That helped a lot. It was a lot better, and, it, and the farmers really do like it better than, than just doing it themselves. But there were a few problems with pre-inoculation. The main one, again, is the rhizobium can die if you're not careful. They're not protected. They're stuck on that seed, but they're not very protected on that seed. They can still dry out. So it's very important that you plant as soon as you can.